at the hotspot login page and um, I want to explore all of the ticketing options that are available at DotSpot. Here we are, here's the, the free ticket link and this takes you to some advertisements and then generates a free ticket. Now you may not want to offer this or you may want to change it or control this feature and you can as well as the other ticketing features in your control center. So let's log in to your control center and go to the ticketing module. And here you'll see all of your ticketing options. Online tickets are tickets that you purchase online with PayPal. Prepaid tickets are tickets that you can print out from home. And um, free tickets are the ones that I just explained with advertising. Time control is the, the, um, the way each ticket counts down time. And it gives you two options, continuous or non-continuous. Uh, non-continuous lets lets the customer log out so they can save the remainder of, of the time that's left on the ticket. Continuous doesn't give you that option. It just continuously counts down time until it expires. And that happens in the background on the DotSpot server. So let's go to free tickets. And you can turn it off here. You can select the amount of time, the access time here, and the waiting period here. Now. My hotspot, I'm going to offer 20 minutes of access time, and they can always access it, which means there's going to be this continuous cycle where after 20 minutes, they're going to be redirected back to my login page, and they have the option to, to watch ads again uh, for free access. If they don't like this cycle, then they can purchase a ticket from me, and then they don't have to watch the ads. So I like to offer both advertising options and paid options. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the free ticket link and let's view some advertisements. And here's the first advertisement. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the volume. And this is a video ad. The advertisement module accepts the video ads, flash ads, regular images, and um, a few other media types, I believe. And you have control over the timer. You have control over the, um, the URL link that's available and the description. After the video, it cues you to the next one. And this is also a video ad. Um, another count time, down timer. And um, the URL link in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this again. It won't let me access because we're behind a walled garden. And that is how the system works. This information will be available um, on the login page, or I mean on the landing page. Um, so the next ad is just your regular, it's an HTML ad or a graphic ad. And this links to uh, an affiliate network, so I can actually make some money if somebody clicks on this. So I'm going to go ahead and access the internet. Here's my ticket. This is the free ticket. Let's log in. And here's the landing page. Here's my 20 minutes countdown timer. Here's my logout button. And here are the videos that I watched. The Skype video, the global warming, and the eco-friendly hosting. And these links are now live. Okay, now that we know what the free ticket is, um, let's take a look at the other ones. Let's go take a look at the online tickets. Now, I already have some products preset. So go ahead and set up some products here. It's really easy. I'll add one here just to show you. I'm going to add uh, another one, eight hours for $7. So you add your products here. Um, you set up what language you want the process to be and what currency. And um, then you go on to the payment options because this has to be linked to a gateway because it is an online payment system. So go ahead and make your products. And then afterwards, go to the Payment Options link. And here we have um, a selection of 
PayPal Standard or PayPal Pro. First, let's turn the module on. And then let's go to PayPal Standard because PayPal Standard is free. PayPal Pro, I think PayPal charges $20 a month. Um, and to use PayPal Standard, you need to upgrade to their free business account. And then it gives you this, um, you can get a PayPal identity token. And so all you got to do is put in your PayPal email address and your identity token, um, select the country you're from. You can enable it. Turn off your test. Okay, so I turned it on. I put my information in. And go back to payment page. This gives you the status of the module. And let's go back to the login page and refresh it. And here we go. Now we can purchase a ticket online. So, so go ahead and click on the purchase link. Here you see your products that you just made. Go ahead and select one. Here is the PayPal standard module. Um, if you also use PayPal Pro, you'll see some credit cards here, another graphic. Go ahead and select, select it. And here you see an, an action is required that you must return from PayPal to redeem your ticket. Go ahead and buy now. This is the order details. And then the buy button will take you to PayPal's website and you'll complete the transaction. Come back and you will receive your ticket. Okay, but instead of doing that, we're going to talk about the third ticket option, and it's the prepaid ticket. I did bring this up earlier. I'm going to go over it again. Um, let's go back to the control panel and go to tickets, prepaid tickets. And here you'll see if you turn on the module, this will produce an indicator on the login page. And here it is, prepaid tickets, inquire inside. That's self-explanatory. And um, now we can make a new batch. Let's say two hours. Currency US, prices $2. Count is eight, and you can also upload your own logo. Now this is the uploader, and you just go here to upload, and you can choose a file from your computer and upload a graphic, and that will work with the prepaid tickets. Um, there is already one set as a default, and I'll show you that in a second. So. Once you upload your, lo your logo, you can print it out in a nice PDF file, which downloads for you. And I'll show you this. Here are the cards right here in PDF format. You can print this from home and give these to your clients and it'll work. You can also replace this logo um, with your business logo and customize it to whatever fits your needs. And then alternatively, if you want it printed professionally, there's an Excel file here that you can give to your printing company and along with a graphic and they can make pretty much anything you want. Now go ahead and create the batch. And you can access your batch Right here, 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 this tells you all the tickets that you have, the prepaid tickets, if they're used, if they're being used, how much time is left. So that's it. My information is stored here. So when I come back, I can just log back in easily. And if I happen to misplace this information, I can click on forgot password and my information will be right here.